Aries, welcome in guys. Thank you for joining me for another love reading with myself, Joe. Aries, we shall not waste no time. Let's get right into your reading. Your first card is the Knight of Wands. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Four of Swords in reverse, up and followed by the Ace of Cups. So Aries, we have this Knight of Wands beginning your reading. And this is fire energy, quite <laughs> quite passionate, quite, it's, it's a very rushed energy. It's like rushing into something, rushing into work uh, alongside somebody. It's like you're wanting to now match a particular kind of energy, okay? Um, and with the Knight of Swords as well. This could be that somebody's rushing into you, meanwhile you're rushing into somebody else. Or this could just be the same energy, because I, I do get a sense of nerves, but wanting to do something anyway. But feeling nervous but it's like i have to it's a very much a need of like i have to do this now i have to express myself now i have to come together with this person or these people now okay um this could be a return to the past this could be reuniting here or perhaps it's a third party situation as i said you're rushing in somebody and somebody's rushing in to you that could very well be the case there interesting uh, with the four of swords and it's in reverse. It's like not laying something to rest. So especially if this is something where you are actually returning to a past connection, this could be that you've had a recent breakup and, you know, you, you've you've realised that it's not what you want. You realise you do actually want to be with this person. So it's not laying something to rest, not, um, not, not having or not even giving this person enough time to look elsewhere. It's like, no, I'm, that's my person. I'm going to, you've, it's a lot of love here. Ace of Cups, perhaps you're offering them something new. This could be an offer of, can we start somewhere? Like, you know, can we start dating or getting to know one another? But there's so much love, so much feelings, so much passion involved in this uh, connection, whoever you are rushing into. Yeah. Let's read on. We've got the Empress. I don't like it in reverse. Whoever you are rushing into is feeling quite um, a bit unbalanced or perhaps your um, your energy unnerves them, okay? You're wanting peace or they just want peace. What's happened? We, <laughs> we'll get into that. We also have the Ten of Wands uh, in reverse there. And we've got the Justice card and we also have the Strength card. So you could be connecting with a Leo or a Sagittarius even because we've got Temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. And we've also got the Knight of Wands, which is uh, Sagittarius energy again. So yes, with the Empress in reverse, I'm not feeling that very much today, but your person, okay, could be, uh, whether it's male or female, focus on the energy here, guys. Your person is feeling... I think your energy kind of makes them feel they're not trustworthy of you. They're not very trusting of you. Your person could be healing at this time. And I'm talking about the person that you are planning to rush into. Or perhaps this is your energy, but I feel very much like this is your person. It's like you are rushing into somebody wanting to express yourself or, you know, begin start something new with this person. But they are kind of unnerved is the word I'm hearing. Unnerved. They're not. Mm, they're not as focused on you as you think they may be or thought they would be, sorry. So yes, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, perhaps there was has been an ending, but this is what you're wanting to change with the justice. It's like bringing some closure or some, bringing some justice to the situation. And, and I mean that by kind of righting your wrongs then. And as I said, for some of you, you may be connecting with a Leo. Um, it's, taken, it's going to take great strength. This is something that you will... Um, or are thinking about fighting for hair. It's not, it's like you want to change this energy somehow. And on this line, they're all major arcanas apart from this one. So this is big energy. It's something that's taken a lot of strength, a lot of courage, even a lot of time and a lot of thought. Um, you're both kind of in different energies. Okay. I don't feel like you've both let go of each other, especially if this is someone uh, from the past. <laughs> There's definitely a sense of uh, you not letting one another go. So you've been in um, each other's energy for some time here. But now it's time to change whatever way it goes. Uh, let's read on, shall we? Let's read on. There it is. We've got the Magician, the Star Card and the Two of Swords. 
okay so with the magi magician perhaps you've been manifesting this connection manifesting this person it's like this longing and i know this is the magician magician uses all their tools to kind of get what they want via manifestation sometimes can be manipulation here so do be aware of that um yeah do be aware of that but i feel more so today that it's um you're wanting you've been manifesting this person and i think that in terms of you both kind of not letting go of one another like it had to happen there had to be this coming back together of con connecting in some way okay Aries I think this the star card is very much a healing card yeah or perhaps somebody here is somebody's in the limelight somehow it's like that that's the way of healing I pour into you you pour into me but this is more uh talking about the earth here I think they're pouring into themselves even there's lots that are hidden from you there's lots that you don't know that you can't see and this is on either side it's like you're wanting to get there you're wanting to see this but you just can't for some reason it's like you've mm, it's like you're oh i can't even get the words out for myself perhaps that's how you're feeling it's like you want to say so much but you you just can't because you don't know where this other person's at um especially if they are on some sort of healing journey Feeling a little bit stuck then, Aries. I'm going to move on and see. Tell me more about Aries. Tell me about Aries person. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at your person's energy. There we go. I take them. So we've got the Page of Cups, the Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Your person is more than likely focused on Pentacles at the moment. You're not get getting very much from them. You're not getting very much from them. Very little from your person. It's wanting to connect. You know, you, you've thought about this for a long time. Um, possibly even made steps towards that. But faced, with, it's, it's almost like you've been faced with a brick wall. But as I said, your person is holding back. Um, and if they are Aries, I'm, I do believe that you would know the reason your person is holding back, more focus on their coins and their stability at this time. Uh, let's go in. Let's have a look at your energy, Aries. Okay. Too many. We'll take these. So we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. We have the Six of Swords. We have ten of pentacles and we also have the sun so again we've got two leos and two uh two leo cards and two sagittarius energy so you know you could be connecting with either sign or they just have a lot of those signs in their chart but yes the sun card this is joy this is the happiest card of the deck and this is um i did ask about your energy so you're quite happy um your person makes you feel happy perhaps um your person brings out the child in you, like this childlike energy in you. And if they are a Leo, then uh, yeah, because I'm a Leo too. So Leos are the sun, aren't they? So they bring a lot of light and joy to people. With the ten of pentacles, perhaps you have a family already with this person, or perhaps that's what you're wanting with this person. They like, they really light you up. And we, we also have the six of swords here and the seven of swords swords of thoughts okay and, and can uh, often represent truths as well but with this being in reverse that's really good so it's not not being sneaky not trying to get away with any anything here i feel like all cards are on the table like mine are but yes um somebody's moving away to karma waters areas you could have moved and i mean like moved home or perhaps traveling or perhaps you have to travel to your person if that's the case it's going to be done wanting to connect wanting to come together there's some explaining excuse me of some sort that you're wanting to do let's go in and get you an outcome yeah Ooh. also have the queen of cups lots of emotions and we also have the seven of cups okay you may be and this is the outcome you may be worried that uh your person has lots of emotions oh 
lots of emotions, lots of options, okay? Or perhaps you just have lots of options. Um, with the seven of wands, and wands are actions, guys. So this is definitely you doing the work then, okay? And if, if this is by means of fighting for your person, then I definitely feel that you will be doing that in some way or shape or form. You are going to put in the work for your person. I feel like your person may have a lot of sensitive emotions as well. Okay. And this is the outcome. These are the things that you are becoming aware of. Perhaps um, worried that this cup will not go to you. Like you will not be the chosen cup. This queen of cup has already chosen her cup. She may not have said or acted upon it, but she sees and she knows and she's chosen already which option. And you have too. I don't think I think we're gonna clarify. We're just gonna see. Okay, let's clarify these options. The whole line, I think. We're just going and see. Get better idea. So we have Knight of Cup proposals. As I said, somebody's chosen their options already, or option they've chosen their one. Sadness, five of cups. Uh, we also have nine of pentacles in reverse gratitude. So somebody's going to be feeling three of swords uh, in reverse. And that's heartache. So someone's. Um, although it says sadness here, but I'm, I'm not getting any sadness from this. The only sadness I can can really sense is, is, is that may, you may not be that choice. Or perhaps this is what they are wanting to express to you. And this is. This is the outcome here, Aries. Some sort of sadness will be expressed, yeah? And it's like a lack of gratitude. So it's not it's not something that's something very good that's going to be expressed. This is something to do with those emotions, those sensitive emotions. They are going to be expressed. It's like you make a proposal here with the Knight of Cups. Cups. This is an offer, a proposal, uh, and it could be a proposal of commitment, whatever that is for you. It could just be dating, getting to know, whatever stage you are at. Whatever that is, it's stemmed, whatever the, whatever the proposal is, regardless of that, once that happens, your person is going to express. It's something that you may even feel embarrassed about. It's not something that you feel great for, but um, in doing so, it releases a lot of pent up feelings, a lot of tension. Yeah, I like that. A lot. Anyway, let's move on to your Oracle cards. Let's see what advice that that's straight. Oh my goodness, oh, would you looky here, guys? It's the two of kittens. You must choose. I feel like that choice has already been made, but just to clarify, this is confirmation for you guys. You must choose. We also have Frog Princess. Heed, wise counsel, listen. Absolutely. And I'm gonna um repeat what I've just said. That sadness is going to be expressed and that could very well be the proposal let me tell you about yourself or something along those lines they want to um release that sadness they're wanting to release that sadness so by all means please do listen perhaps you'll be able to make a better choice then aries that has been your reading as always please do take what resonates leave whatever doesn't and don't force anything to fit with your situation my readings do not replace any medical or professional advice you may have received. So please do bear that in mind, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and take care. Until next time.